for two, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikach, by Dash, number one to the apostles of El, the great millstone that rule well. Salutations to Allah, I came out here pushing this word with civility and truth, women and children, and excellence in learning. learning. Uh, we want to say Shalom. Shalom. Coming at you today again, as you see what you see on this screen, death is coming, man. That's right. Death, famine, destruction, sedition among men. I'm talking about mother against father, father. Against, I'm talking about all the things that you can dream about and think of that's, that 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 will make you panic and, and make have make you have a heart attack and die. Mm -hmm. These are things that's coming to America, man. That's right, because America is gonna be um, a memorial for what not to do, for what mm -hmm. not to do. Mm -hmm. America is an abominable place, right? America is a proudful place. America was a highly esteemed place. Can you give me the verse on um, pride, destruction? Pride coming before destruction. Because that's the main thing right now. You got a lot of pride, right? When you look at their whole system, it's built on pride. They're prideful about their military, right? They're prideful about their their global position on the earth, how they how they um, took over things, right? How they, they have the best military on earth. They have the, what else? You got a, a homosexual activity and they call it their pride parade, right? Where men walk around with their genitals out and women walk around with their breasts out kissing of the, kissing each other of the same sex, right? What else they're proud about? Wickedness, <laughs> right? They boast themselves in wickedness. Your Hollywood promotes nothing but death, drugs, um, adultery, fornication, sat Satan worshiping. Mm -hmm. Right? So you'd be like, why is death coming to America? Why not? Why shouldn't death come to motherfucking America? America poisoning the minds of the people around the goddamn earth, man. Right? All these other nations want to do like what? Here in Babylon the Great, because it works It works on film. But in reality, that shit don't fucking work. <laughs> it's because they don't show you both sides. They tell you, they give you a, a story, his story. His bullshit and lavish story. As a matter of fact, what do they call it? American dream mm -hmm. you have to be sleep toward to get this dream in america man other than that you just a good old slave that's around here ain't, ain't putting what scripts say putting a, a money in a bag with a hole in it man you ain't saving nothing you ain't got nothing anytime this devil get mad and, and feel like you ain't doing what he wants you to do guess what you a poor man again you just a nigga that's true uh, I, I got this for you uh no go ahead go ahead brother it's uh, Proverbs uh, 16 and 18. It says, pride go before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, man. And you you people prideful, man. You people prideful as hell, man. You, 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 like Y'all don't understand what, what, what you're doing, man. It caused destruction. It caused a fall away for, uh, for a man that what might might have been on, on a path of, of so-called righteousness. Guess what? You turn them away from that. Because... America is the most wickedest kingdom ever that has touched this planet Earth. Why? You can be wicked before your feet even touch the ground. You just reach over and get your phone. Guess what? You've been wicked already. You in other people's business. You are around here talking to every some other uh, woman's man or uh, uh, I mean man's woman. However it go, you just it's full of wickedness. This phone, man. Mm -hmm. These apps, these social medias, and things like that, man. Y'all indulging in, 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 in doing things that the Lord said you should not do. Yeah, well, and through this, um, through through what technology and cool. social media, right? I'm going to read this right here. This <clears throat> Jeremiah 51 and 7, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Like we said, man, the ways of Babylon the Great is not working. It's not working, right? And we see it's not working because all these other people, they're what? They're reserving to having to go back to their countries. We know it ain't working when you got Americans fleeing America. Right? You got <laughs> Americans man. fleeing America. But I, can, I can't take this no more. I'm going overseas. And they, they, I'm they, going to Spain. I'm going to Mexico. I'm leaving. It ain't that they can't take it. You know, they got family that got that got the drop on what's happening. So they like, I don't want to move apart. Man, so I got to get out of here. Yeah. I'm getting out of America, man. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to go through that. Mm -hmm. They know what's to come. So guess what? They, hey, like Illuminati told him, my man, he said, man, why are you worried about it? The, the world and everybody else? He said, man, well, worry about your family, man. Just get worried about you and your family and get your family out of here. That's what a lot of your so-called 
extremely wealthy people are doing that. Mm-hmm. They're getting the hell out of Dodge. You just had a billionaire um, art collector remove all this shit from, move a lot of his art from the Chicago Institute of Art. Took his shit down to Florida. You already know why mm-hmm. Florida, because it's close to that water. He about to put it on a boat and ship it overseas. That way nobody know about it. I know how they move. Yeah, they getting their shit out of Dodge, man. A lot of wealthy, real wealthy people are what? It's putting their money in overseas accounts. Yeah. Right? Look at what happened with the Bitcoin. You just had a bunch of Bitcoin um people who started. They got killed. One of them, the one of them, the whole system crashed. So we already know that Bitcoin. I've been we've been to that some bullshit. Yeah, all love of this shit bullshit, man. It's one ultimate goal this man is trying to accomplish, man. And that so called digital cryptocurrency chip. bullshit ain't ain't it. Mm-hmm. He hey, he didn't put it out for you. He had parties about it and things like that. He didn't got he had some commercials and things like that, man. Hey, this it ain't no secret no more, man. And you for the ones of y'all who still believe in it, that's how they're gonna lead you to that RFID chip. Yes, sir. Because what Esau do, he'll have some people will start some. He'll kill them off and take it over and set it up for his system. Yep. Yeah, he'll take over this whole um, digital currency thing, but under a new banner, a government banner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What else we got going on? You got what? Oceans drying up. Right, yes, rivers sir. drying. I mean, sorry, it's like rivers drying up, lakes dry, drying up. That that's gonna cause a famine and a disruption in what your your food, the way people eat. Right, you got um truckers talking about um ain't no more, strikes, ain't no strikes, shit, strikes, strikes for what? They, they ain't gonna be able to haul nothing no way because there ain't, ain't no more haul. fuel. Yeah, they had what what six hundred dollars, six thousand, six hundred dollars, some shit like that worth of fuel, and that was a, a month or so ago. So basically, they, they ain't got no fuel to haul nothing. What you gonna do? Man, everything is set, is set to shut the fuck down. You got the railroad strike thing going on. They're talking about going on strike, right? You got different weather patterns messing up the food coming in on these boats and different shipping containers. So everything is pointing in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. You, you got some out? Uh, yeah, I got I'm gonna just <clears throat> Matthew 24 and 2. It said, Yahweh shall say unto them, See ye all these things. Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left uh, uh, here one stone upon another that shall be not thrown down, man. And, and this kingdom, man, look, all the stuff that you see. And um, <clears throat> I mean, verse 3, it says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what shall be the signs of the coming and of the end of the world? Because um, the brother was going to compare that, that verse to America. Because um, they, when they were telling him, come and see the, um, ain't going to be no no stone left standing. They were talking about the temple. They were talking about Jerusalem. Okay. And then... um. But when you look at here in America, Jake really think America's going to continue. There's a lot of you brothers who who know about the Lord, who know about Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, but you're not preaching about the kingdom of heaven. You're preaching about, hey, black man, hey, black Hispanic man, come together here in America. Let's put our money together and build here in America and eat a missile here in America because that's eventually what's going to happen. You're going to fucking die here in America, man. You're going to starve here in America talking about coming together and building here in Babylon the great when the Lord speaks about the destruction of this place. That makes no fucking sense. Matter of fact, keep reading. He said, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Yeah, you got all these false churches set up coming under a banner of they're of the Lord. How do you know they're of the Lord? You got to speak according to the words of the scriptures, man. And I just did a video about all these different Bibles, right? You got a lot of these different churches. All of them got different Bibles. So how the fuck are in they one mind and on one accord when they're all speaking different things, right? It's impossible. It's impossible. And that's the way the Lord set it up too because our Lord is all about what? Setting up stumbling blocks. The Lord don't want everybody to um, try to return. The Lord is only for only wants his elect to return. That's right. It's a lot of brothers who so-called in the truth. Guess what? One day you're going to fall out. You're going to fall out. We've seen it happen. And what that's why the best one of the best verses in the scriptures is um for you, you to pray the Lord not to remove that Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit from you. Yeah. Go ahead. He said, <clears throat> verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Mm-hmm. He says, for nations shall rise against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms, and there shall be famines and pestilence. And earthquakes in diverse 
places. He says, all these are the beginning of sorrow. Mm -hmm. man. And that's just the beginning <coughs> of sorrow, man. All the things that we didn't show you, man, things, the, the things that's drying up, hey, hey, the, the passion that's coming. Hey, look, I, they just said on the news the other day, man, look, if you stack the things, you better go get stacked the necessities that you have. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's what you need, because guess what? That's what you see right here. That's what's about to happen. Your shelves about to be empty, man. They're about to be empty. So, hey, look. Yeah, Lord, if the Lord ain't dealing with you, you're in trouble, man. Yeah, yeah. you already see the um, prices of, of everything going up in the stores. The prices in the stores of everything that went up so high mm -hmm. to the point where mm -hmm. even if you do get food stamps, you don't have enough money on the food stamp card to buy it, <laughs> the same items you used to mm -hmm. buy. What about the bums outside that's begging for money now? And you got you got to tell them you ain't got no change for them because everything's on a card now. <laughs> everything's on credit cards or, 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 or a food stamp card. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All that uh, loose change is a wrap. Yeah, oh, yeah. so they gonna be mad. They gonna yeah. be uh, getting madder and madder because they belly's gonna be hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, they gonna be running these stores. I've been seeing people getting um, carjacked and stuff, food carts of food and stuff like that. Man, they ran on um, food stores now. He saw his um, he not he saw his mindset. It's not like these niggas out here, man. They got a different type of mindset. He saw us. You know what you said that man, old ass white woman come begging me for money yesterday. Probably to buy some help. food. To buy some food, probably. Help, sir, please. Right. Help. I'm like, God damn, this shit's fucked up. You know, in my old old heart, like, man, I should help this old bitch, but in my new mind, I'm like, man, yeah, fuck this no. bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and I felt bad because it was freezing. But but now yeah, you probably don't even have it. You got it on the car. Everything's yeah. on car now. Yeah. Anybody yeah. got a loose change in their pockets no more? No, man, you know, if you know, if you gonna help, you'll help, man. It's just man. This bitch was damn near 90 years old, right? Hey. Yeah, and with the fucking oh, shaking God. in this fucking cold freezing. But it's bad out here for these crackers, oh, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Well, they yeah, suffer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just did a video the other day. It's, you know, you know, a lot of these Edomites, man, um, these old people, man, they gonna get jacked up in these times, man, because um, they got to work longer. Remember back in the, when we was kids, oh, your shit. parents didn't have to. It was done working at 50, mm -hmm. 60 years old. They didn't save up enough money. They had enough everything they wanted. What, what more was there? So they, they were living up retirement now. That shit's over with. Yeah, I told my mom, when I was a kid, mom, this shit's about to be over with. As a kid, I told her, like, you're going to be working. You're going to be working with you into your 70s and 80s. She's like, no, no, cat. That's why they got these retirement funds and this and that. I'm like, mom, you're not going to, that, that retirement fund going to be obsolete very soon. And as the years start, uh, more and more of her, her um, what do you call it? That, um, when Before you retire, you no, know, when you retire, you get the, un not unemployment. Not unemployment. Not you get the, uh, this, this, no, not no, disability. Whatever you get from when you retire, and they give you a retirement time. Yeah, kind of. So the government is supposed to give you money because you didn't work for his system. You didn't help build the system, so you're supposed to retire. They took some of that money out. Man. Shit for that. So you take it out. And you're supposed to get that for, until you die, right? Well, they did tell them. I ain't going to lie to you. They did tell them around 2000, 2001. Mm. Hey, man, say goodbye to your fucking pension. Say mm -hmm. goodbye to all this money you saved because guess what? We've been using this money to pay all these motherfuckers that are still alive right now, and there's no money going into this thing. So they've been warning the people. Mm. I don't know where the hell these people mind is at. I watch mm. They watch the news. We watch the oh, news. Yeah. But they, they, they ain't watching how we watch. They, just, look, they wouldn't watch the I wasn't in the truth back then in, in 2000 and 2001, yeah. but hey, say goodbye to your pensions. Yeah. The Chicago... Teachers, they were mad shit, man. Mm -hmm. Pensions are disappearing. Mm -hmm. So now here we are in what? 2023, three, mm -hmm. three, right? Mm -hmm. And these people are like, what's going on? Man, they've been told you. Mm -hmm. um, didn't the president tell you, man, store food in the next six months, prepare for yeah, um, for yeah. for bad times, store some food. Mm -hmm. How long ago was that? That was, what, three years ago? <laughs> well, we, but once again, uh, like, Bef they like, told him before COVID to prepare for bad times, the whole year before yeah, that. But that's how I say you do, man. He, Get you go out, buy a bunch of shit. Then he like playing wolf. Oh no, yeah, I said it. Oh, no, it didn't happen. Oh, hey, hey, look, I know for sure no, it didn't happen. But then guess what? When it get ready to happen, how many people gonna be like, you know what? Fuck that. Them niggas said that shit. Two thousand and twenty one, two thousand and twenty two. They said that's how I like saying They said in two thousand twenty four, man, I ain't dealing with these motherfuckers no more. Well, they said the same thing about the Lord. Man. When is the coming of the Lord? Lord. Yeah, yep, yep. man. You're like seeing the signs more and more nowadays, right? Come on, man. man. Clear as day. Because, mm -hmm. like you said, we watch it. We watch with a different eye now. Mm -hmm. Shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. These people hate the Lord more and more, man. When they when the truth come out, they. they Let's they, back up man. some verses on what we just spoke about, right quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring that up. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff. We got man. a lot of topics. It's, uh, uh, verse 9 it says, Then shall the, they deliver you up to be afflicted. And shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. 
He says, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. So man. that's why we open it up with this picture. Death is coming. They're going to betray one another. They're going to hate one another. Why? Because of lack of bread. It tells you in the apocryphal. We spoke about that. The brother just brought out some, hey, you got motherfuckers at grocery stores robbing people. This is a new thing. You getting robbed at grocery stores. <laughs> Pastors getting robbed at churches. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they take, motherfuckers going out of bounds with the violence. Now, you supposed to be playing in the field and on the court. No, they said, fuck that. We mm -hmm. in the stands. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> They're going after the regular people. Uh, this is verse eleven, and many shall, I mean, many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive. Well, we can leave it all right there. Let's stop with that. Let's talk about that death. You got some on on these tribulation and these what we were just speaking on? Yeah, give me one second. Huh. Didn't you say something about the famine? I mean, um, prophets. Yeah, we was gonna go into that. Look, we want to just okay. focus on okay. um the famine and the death so and this right. shit. SHTF we were talking about. Because um, I'm gonna read this right quick. Oh, this yeah. is the book of um Luke, um. One and I mean twenty one and and thirty six and it reads mm -hmm. all right man let me go to twenty one and thirty three because the brother Shaparam always speak on this man look this, the Lord ain't nothing gonna be taken out of this Bible man the Lord said it so shall it be done yeah because everything we're speaking about is what things that was written to be already right. happened predestined I'm gonna read it says heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest any time your heart be overcharged with surfing and drunkenness. That's your mind, right? You so wounded in the mind within different philosophies. What? You ain't fucking aware of what's about to happen. I'm over here. Wait, you say that? Man, oh, he, no. Hey, nigga, 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 he's nigga, nigga. wounded <laughs> off the Bitcoins. He's wounded <laughs> off um, the Christian church. Mm -hmm. He's wounded off his woman. His what? Oh, man, them kids, man. He'll do anything for them kids, kids man. Yeah, man. Hey, where you going, man? Come to the, come to the, this truth, man. We're going to go. No, man, I got to go see. I got to get the kids, man. The kids. Mm -hmm. What else? I mean, it says, and cares of this life. <laughs> and cares of this life. And so that the day, and so that day come upon you unawares. What day? The day of tribulation. <laughs> the day of visitation, right? It says, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape, <laughs> right? To escape all these things that shall come to pass to stand before the Son of Man. Yeah, all this is leading to the coming of our Lord, man. our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. Um, on, 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 no, that was no, that was it on what I had. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I got that Joel uh, one and I'm gonna start at um, I'm gonna start at one and um, fifteen. Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from Almighty shall it come. It is not the meat cut off before our very eyes? Yea, joy and gladness from the house of our power. Speaking about these famines coming, man. You know. We got um. We just had on the news. You had um some food. More and more food factories are catching the flame and blowing up out of nowhere, man. Food factories catching the flame and blowing up out of nowhere. They're already in the rural areas of the, of the states, and now they're just catching fire. There's a list out there showing how many have have, have burnt down within the last uh three to three to four years, man. And it's ridiculous, man. It's, it's like it's like it's not coincidence that this, this, these motherfuckers is catching fire and burning down. Like, why all of a sudden are all the food factory uh, producing things catching fire, man. If this was on an algorithm, a red alert would go off. Come God, on, man. Hell yeah. It's crazy. Um, ain't no red alert because that's what they do. Because they the motherfuckers burning yeah. that bitch. We mm -hmm. know Bill Gates done acquired a bunch of farms and a bunch of different food processes. Bought them up. Bought them Bought up. Bought them up. And um, I, that's that's through the spirit because we're putting that on video all the time because um, and what, what else happened when, when, before Bill Gates did that? The government came through a lot of these um Midwestern farms and told them they couldn't plant what they wanted to plant no more. They had and to, mm -hmm. you had to, you had to get down where we got you to plant. And if you don't want to abide by this, guess what? That started with the corn and shit. Man, yeah, a bunch yeah, of different things. Yeah. He says, um They gotta realize, look, didn't we speak about that earlier? I we was like, um, in these other countries, man, it's hard when the government um shit gets shut down. But look at here what they call martial law, man. Them fucking government come through, hey nigga, you better do this. Mm -hmm. You better do that, or we taking this shit. Yeah. And the farmers was um, all on Jason A videos talking like, hey man, we had to lose all our land, we had to lose everything. Now that the government said, okay, 
I want you to get updated as equipment. So what did that do? That forced them to go ahead and get um, loans and shit. Get loans that they couldn't pay. You know, the government. You put, seen them fucking equipment, a, bu- a motherfucking damn near billion dollar mm-hmm. machine. Who the well, fuck could afford this big Well, guess what? A solid 10 years ago when they were pumping out enough food, they could go ahead and afford that. But mm-hmm. now, as they times have changed, they ain't got that deal coming yeah. up no more. Yeah. Shit done slowed down. Mm-hmm. Plus, the weather patterns. The weather patterns up. Yeah. Come on, man. You know? COVID died. Mm-hmm. That too. She won that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that jack up some shit too, you know? <laughs> that shit, shit fucked everything up. Come on, man. This is Joel 1 and 17. The seed is rotten under the cogs. The, gar- the gardens are laid desolate. The barns are broken down for the corn is weathered, man. And just get, I don't know what we're speaking about, man. <laughs> Look, we've seen videos of them dumping out milk. Come on, man. We've seen videos of them killing pigs and cows. And chicken. chicken. Remember, every now and then they have a, a chicken kill Chicken murky. Uh-huh. These devils is playing games with the food out here, man. But like you said, a lot of these people that have farms and shit, they were talking about how they was coming on their farms, telling them how they had to kill all, all, so much of their livestock and shit like that. I was like, that's crazy. Like, yes, that's crazy. They just come in and just tell us we just got to kill all this off for no apparent reason. They ain't giving us nothing. Just saying, wait, and due to COVID. And, uh, and well, they'll come out with anything. Remember, they yeah, had the jump shot. They, they had, had the, the flus, the different flus. Mm-hmm. They had, you had the pork flu. You had the bird, the bird flu, cow, the, the no. swine flu, the cow flu. Yeah, they come, they, 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 they give people reason. You yeah, know, you out of yeah, the mad yeah. cow this year. Yeah. Uh, they yeah, the cows is beating up the owners and shit. Well, Getting know, mad. <laughs> we know it's just to kill off the, 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 the animals that. It's, it's, it's the fucking devil, man. It's, it's, no, the devil. Yeah, it's, 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 we can't. We can't it's, it's, it's the Lord. It's the Lord put the spirit on there. Because guess what? The Lord word got to play out. He said, "Family coming." Oh yeah. So guess what? We seeing. The, the 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 brain and the, and the mechanics and everything work of of the Lord pushing his devil to do his job and nah. which is what to create famine on the earth, man. Mm-hmm. That's what he's doing. Mm-hmm. He's creating a famine that the Lord called for. Mm-hmm. Hey, this devil. Um, I always do a video on this one too, man. They got them um over in Norwegian. These devils, man. At a certain point time of the year, they have a kill off on the whales. They got they, they'll trick the whales, the pilot whales. They'll trick. They go out in the ocean. And they'll trick them to come in closer to the land. They said this year was the biggest kill off they've had on record. Man, they was out there just stabbing them, biting them, whatever they could do to kill these whales, man. They got a whole beach front full of blood just rushing up on the water and they getting a kick out of it, man. The Lord, no, the Lord got a spirit on them. They doing it for oh, a yeah. reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we know there's a reason because ain't nobody just going to waste time to go kill these whales. Like Somebody's no paid reason. somebody to go do something. Well, this is tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tradition. Because yeah, yeah. he had a tradition of doing this for uh, centuries, he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. A lot of that, yeah, because you see it in different things where it's like a sporting tradition or mm-hmm. family tradition. Remember, they um the practice used to hunt the fox. They yeah, would have the yeah. fox run off. Mm-hmm. So they would have the dogs go chase the fox. And once they fucking, uh, the dogs get the fox, you have 10, 20 dogs. What do you think they're going to do to the fox? Mm-hmm. They tear that motherfucker up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as they grab them, grab a hold of them, pull them apart, man. <laughs> Straight torture them. Yeah. Um, This is the book of Job. I'm going to read the book of Job. Five and eighteen. All right, let me start at five and seventeen. Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High correcteth. Therefore, despise not thou the chastising of the Almighty. And for you brothers in the truth, right now we we being chastised, we going through it. We going through it. But right now the Lord's about to open it up where everybody go through it, <laughs> where everybody go through it. Because the main thing is that who's going to be able to endure until the end right everything is being set up for a reason the the famine is being set up for a reason the lord is seeing who's really with him right because it's we already know the edomites ain't with the lord the heathens are not with the lord the gentiles are not with the lord this is all about israel this is israel's really final test on the earth he's cracked his tongue about prepare 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 for what man you're going into slavery even if you move out of this country you're going to eat a missile even if you done prepared and survived through whatever's coming Right? So it's really about Israel. I'm going to read it. It says, Behold, happy is the man whom the Lord correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastising of the Almighty. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. What we got going on in America, man, that's the Lord doing it. Mm-hmm. When these animals and motherfucking crackers and heathens killing like a motherfucker right now, that's the Lord doing it. <laughs> Why, what is the Lord doing? He's wounding the, um, the, the food distribution mm-hmm. system. Yeah, hey, motherfuckers ain't going to be able to eat because the Bible speaks about a famine. So it has to be a mass type of death with, with these animals. Just like you got the drying up of the, drying up of the fucking rivers and lakes. 
That's a lot of fucking fish being killed. Not here. You got the mad cow disease, mad chicken. Man, they scared all over the earth. They killing cows and chickens and pigs all over the motherfucking earth just because in the name of something going, a sickness. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's the Lord. I'm reading again for it. He maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in the six troubles. Man, we, we in the six troubles right now about the transition. Mm-hmm. Right, we in the end, almost about to be at the end of the sixth trouble right now. So we know it's about to magnify. <laughs> what does that talk about in the sixth trouble? Death, yeah. Yeah. people turning on each other. Man, man, it's only one piece of bread in the refrigerator. Man, my dad go to it first. Man, we are gonna box. <laughs> yeah, you know it's sons and fathers oh, in the yeah. crib together. Man, mm-hmm. fighting over that last piece of bread in that mm-hmm. motherfucking refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You had a son just shoot his fucking mother over a video game. Mm-hmm. Over a ten year old. Yeah. And he said, man, can you please drop my bail down from um, $50,000 to $100? Like, man, you know, get your little troubled oh, ass And you got to realize, who the fuck is these kids, man? It's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but Sometimes you'd be like, is this shit even real? Or I mean, but the scriptures let us know. You know, we ain't, we ain't, we're, we're not, we're not in the crazy. darkness. We're not in this world. So we know. The scriptures said, said man, these kids are going to be unruly in these times, man. Monsters, man. These women are going to be oh, birthed. Yeah. The nigga was 10 years old, huh? Yeah. And killed his fucking mama. What, what about the baby? three-year-old who actually shoot mama while she twerking and shit? All these stupid other mm-hmm. bitches, man. You know, mm-hmm. the Lord ain't playing. Mm-hmm. Right? That's the Lord. It says, he shall deliver thee in the sixth trouble. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee. Yeah, man, famine is coming. From death and in war and from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge and of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh, man. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Yeah, hey, man, we looking forward to this because, man, if you've been serving the Lord and you're doing it with, in truth and sincerity and you're really calling on, believing, calling on the Lord and you have faith and you believe, you have nothing to fucking worry about, man. The Lord tell you his servants going to eat while tribulation and anger and Jeffrey Dahmer is happening to these other people who don't believe, who don't trust in the Lord, who don't have nothing to lean on. Yeah, you ain't going to be telling your brother to lean on me. You know, right? That's Jake. Lean on me. No, man. Come on, You going to tell him, man, get the fuck away from me, man. Give it with your family, homie. (laughs) You guys, I got something real quick. This is uh, Psalm 82. I'm going to start at uh, 3. Defend the poor and follow us. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor. And, and that's talking about the, the, the elect. Huh. This ain't talking about, man, some motherfucking homeless kid on the motherfucking street, man, with a motherfucking <laughs> tech nine in his back pocket. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, let me help the kid out. Now, nah, no, nah, let me help you out, nigga. Give me your fucking wallet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you're about to have. These, little, these kids ain't... <laughs> I think about what we saying. Know who you do good to, man. Exactly. And so, uh, when you listen to these to these, uh, to these lessons, you know, and you're in, and you're uh, coming into this truth, man, that's the brotherhood. That's who you're supposed to be doing good to, mm-hmm. you know? You know, uh, that, so like the scripture say, know who you do good to, man. You know, uh, 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 try the spirit of that person, man. You know, mm-hmm. like like the brother was getting to, man. This little nigga walking with a tech in his fucking pocket asking for help. <laughs> what the fuck am I going to help you with, man? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what help do you really need, my mm-hmm. nigga? You trying to rob Yeah. Then um, the two prophets, man, they came out of one place and um, dude grabbed him. Hey, man, help. He said, yeah, nigga, I'm going to help you with this gospel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I got some words. Yeah, I'll feed you with some truth. Yeah. And, and in order for them, they have to believe, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause everybody, everybody. 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 That's what I'm saying. Because a lot of cats, they, man, what y'all doing out there, man? You know what I'm saying? What about when um the prophets was, was walking through the, uh, the temple and the, and the dudes was at the door and they grabbed the hold of his garment and just touched it? He had to believe, man. He was healed. He was on the ground, laying his fuck out of there. <laughs> He says, defend the poor and the needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. And who's going to rid us out of the hand of the wicked, man? We're going to need the Lord to rid us out of the hand of the wicked, man. And right now, you're being rid mentally. Because, yo, the wicked had your mind. We telling you the truth, man. Now your mind is like, oh, shit. That bullshit ass doctrine. I don't need to follow that shit no more, man. Mm-hmm. I don't need to go by the ways of this society no more, man. Mm-hmm. I don't got to please these people no more, man. Why the fuck am I wearing this monkey suit going to church with these stupid motherfuckers every Sunday? I ain't got to do this shit no more. <laughs> I ain't got to work so fucking hard and prepare all this money like there's a future in this place no more, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the wicked's way of thinking. Right. That's his system. Oh, let's go back up. What you just said, this is uh, Psalm 82 and 5. They know not. Neither, neither will they understand going to what you said. <laughs> Everything what you just said. Stacking money up. Going to these churches, putting a monkey suit on every Sunday and... um. 
what other day out of the week? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday, and give me one day out of the week they got to go because you got to go to Bible study. Bible study. Bible study. Bible study. Yeah. Yeah. On Wednesday. Yeah. On Tuesday yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Big hat day on Friday. Come on, yeah. man. Uh, pig, pig fry on, on Saturday. On Sunday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every day. Come on. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are off of course. Hey, man. brother, what's your nationality? Mm-hmm. I'm black. Ooh, okay. I'm they black, they walk black, in the darkness black, like black, a motherfucker. Yeah, you're right, brother. We're going we to live here forever. 2022 was just this. Don't worry, man. When 2030 hits 2035, I'm gonna be rich, nigga. Rich. <laughs> These niggas gonna pass all type of years and days looking, man. Yo, you sound like a white scientist. Mm-hmm. Uh, you sound like a white scientist. Dr. Doolittle yeah, ass. 3.500 billion years right, ago. Right, right, right. Yeah, when when we I'm evolved. <laughs> y'all niggas looking for a, a reality that's not coming. Man. And the thing is, the Lord got something even better for you, and you don't even want to look for that. Man. That's beautiful, man. Hey, because uh, Reverend Pickford ain't telling you how the earth, how the earth is out of course, man. He ain't telling you how everything is is up. How the earth is upset with 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 the rulers who is ruling over us, man. You know, they telling you you free, you saved, you good. They sending our people off, man. They are keeping you asleep. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> your leaders. <laughs> That was it on that? Your leaders, God. your mothers, all that. They just they just keeping you far oh, from, God. from the Holy Spirit, man, from the from the, the from, from from the from the Father. Because you know, you want your mother is supposed to be your teacher. She's the one supposed to teach you this book. Well, no, 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 him understanding. So really, all she can do is guide the house. She Go help this motherfucking food. Make sure the kids' clothes stay nice. Right. Mm-hmm. Make That's sure the, her job. Yeah, just mm-hmm. yeah, Keep raise it these kids. Keep it simple. When it comes to the laws and statutes of the mm-hmm. scriptures, how to be a man? That's our That's job. God. Yeah, because that's, that's what the Bible yeah, do. Because yeah. because um, once you come to Babylon, now the woman tries to be equal to the man. No, that's no, why the no, Lord no. said, "Man, have I, have I made a new thing upon the earth? Yeah. A, a, a woman surpassing a man? Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, man." Yeah, yeah. Hell no, nah, man. These women are out of order, man. Yeah, just keep oh, they're out of order like a motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> Raising kids, keep the kids trust. fed. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Yeah. Keep it simple, man. Mm-hmm. Babylon told you you can do more and yeah, be No, nah, she ain't got to teach a motherfucking thing. No. Nah. Just guide the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she ain't got nothing today. Oh, I got this one for you for her. <laughs> this second Ezra five and eight. He said, there shall be a, a confusion also in many places, and the, and the fire shall be offset out again, and the whole... And the whole and the shall I, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and monstrous women Mistress. shall bring for huh? Mistress. Uh, like oh, shall I, mistress? Women shall bring forth monsters, man, and that's all these women bringing forth today, man. Because who hey, who got the, the the lead over the fucking children today? Women. They the one that hit over their families right now today, over their kids and their children. And that's and look, why you can't look, have her guiding no mother. That's why you can't have her teaching nothing. You can have her, yeah, cook and raise these motherfucking kids, yeah. get them club, man, do do that mother shit. But when it comes to teaching and guiding and yeah, teach the girl how to fucking um, prepare yeah, to woman. be a woman. Yeah, to prepare to be a woman for a man. Yeah, teach her the womanly things, but she can't teach a boy a goddamn thing. Yeah, but, 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 but we gotta we also keep in mind. If this is uh, Esau's plan to have it the way it is. Oh, right yeah, now, yeah, you know, this yeah. wasn't no yeah. goddamn. Yeah. Men want to take care of their family. Well, if you, yeah, yeah, you said you go back, that's the Lord's plan. You said, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. you right. He already said, I created a new you thing. Think, yeah. A woman should surpass a man. Right. She's the leader of these households right now, man. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's an unbalanced world that we live in today, man. When you look at things, man, you that's why you all you can do is just prophesy. You ain't supposed to yeah, go out try and, to go out and, um, man, no, man, the Lord got everything playing out, and here you are, you're trying to um, change the thing. course of the course, yeah. Uh-huh. No, it's going to go this way. Hey, go. No, check man. that out, dude. Damn, that we got our own thing. He's got his own oh, thing. Man. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> man. He did with the Lord's thing. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, this is the Lord's show. This is the Lord's movie. You know what I'm saying? We just actors. Oh, we, we playing our part. That's it. it. You know what I'm saying? We playing our part to the best of our ability. We ask the Lord, don't, I don't want to get fired, please, Lord. Keep the fire under me. Keep keep me doing the, your work, your will, man. That's all we want. We want to continue this thing to the end. 
done. We just read not one thing from this word is going to pass away until all be fulfilled. Mm. So with that, we're going to give all honor and praise and glory to Yahweh, 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 Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, citations to the like men feeding the sheep of Yahweh, 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 Shalom. 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 Shalom.